<laughs> oh God! The starting? Okay. I don't know. Hershey Company didn't get didn't get at me, so I can't say Twizzlers. <laughs> licorice. How do you feel about black licorice? I Bad. enjoy it. I to enjoy it as well. To the pits of hell. To the pits yeah. of hell with it. You guys are outvoted, so just wrong, I think. That's I how think this works. Taste so no Jägermeister for you, either of you either? Or absinthe? Ew, what? I, I can smell Jäger if I have to. And you, you'll and do absinthe, though? I had it once when they didn't tell me how disgusting it was. <laughs> 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 then I ate a lot of bread. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> no. All right. I'm good. So you yeah, won't do absinthe, you won't what? do Jaeger. Anies. Is that what it is? What? A is anis? It yeah. Anis? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, just not a fan of it in general. Sits right in that, like, bad range. <laughs> nah, I get it. Black licorice is definitely not for everyone, but I do... I do appreciate it. Like, tolerate it. I won't turn my nose up at it. Like, You're if already I go, being swayed. If, so no, if I you... if I go to like an Indian restaurant and they have those fennel seeds at the counter on the way out, I'll grab myself a handful of them. You didn't tell me they tasted like black licorice, and you fucked. We went we went to our lovely uh, trip to Colorado Springs. We had Indian food with Jackson's family friends, and it was nice. It was really sweet. At the very end, Jackson was like, "Oh hey, you want to eat these fennel seeds because they'll help out with indigestion and make sure you don't feel awful." So I took a bunch thinking, oh, it's just going to taste like seeds, like pumpkin seeds, right? First bite was just licorice, but not even the good kind. It was like black licorice from the darkest pit of hell. And I just wanted to die. I felt myself like shriveling up and I had to be really nice too because we were still talking with them immediately afterwards. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the moment we went to the car, I looked at Jackson like you poisoned me. <laughs> you, you poisoned me or not? I poisoned Checker. I think th I think this was all right after you saw me just take a whole scoop of that and just immediately go for it. Yeah, because I was I trusted you. I was like, okay, well, damn, if he likes it, then I guess I'll like it. We pretty much have the same tastes at most points. <laughs> uh, little did I know your taste on seeds is whack, my guy. Jesus. It's all been just a long con. He pretends yeah. to like foods just so he could get you to eat those. I, what? you know, no. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Ten year long deception. I can't believe this. I am wounded. <laughs> you wound me deeply. You. The worst part is you kept making fun of me for it too the entire time. You're like, oh babe, let's go get some licorice. I'm like, oh yeah, I actually like red licorice. Like, no, black licorice. And I was like, oh, kill me. Get me out of here. See, Jackson, we need a friend of the show, Robin, on the call because I know they also really enjoy absinthe. So I can only assume that they enjoy black licorice. I would it's imagine so. And while I love them, I would still say that it's gross. It's yucky. To their face. It's yucky. It's important I love to help Robin. them see their, I love their Robin race. so much. It's yucky, though. Black licorice is yucky. There's better flavors of licorice out there. So my question for you individuals who seem to enjoy it, do you also like the taste of sarsaparilla, then? Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I I can't say I've ever really had authentic root beer. Root beer. Like a root beer is like made a, out of sarsaparilla, dude. Well, I yeah, love like root a beer. like a traditional root beer though, not the yeah. Barks yeah. and W variety. No, yeah, no, like, no, like a like a sprecker. Okay, like yeah. a traditional root beer. So it's half and half for me, because um, I love Barks root beer. Barks root beer is like my favorite go-to soda. Well, it's got bite. Uh, oh yes. yes. But, like, if someone handed me, like, the the Grandpa Jones type uh, bottled in some crazy place, like, really authentic style, style root beer, I tend to not like it, actually. Okay. Yeah, cause I, but I think it's mainly just the brands, because they're... It's very much a toss-up, because I find that a lot of people who make root beer make it in wildly different ways. So... Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I, I speak I, I of like, like the traditional, like not the not the candified like Barks uh, style, but the the classic American made root beer. Can you get it at the the county fair from a, a pavilion that looks like a giant keg? Hell yeah. So how about that last episode, folks? We had to uh, swallow our pride at moments, but we made it through it. Fair, fair. Did you choke on the rice? Got swallowed. Never. No puns. And the lack thereof just left your IPA inside. Swallow your doubt and turn it inside out. (laughs) Find nothing but faith in nothing. (laughs) Put it up. Want to put your tender heart in the blender? (laughs) Anyway, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of kind of a dicey prospect there for a bit. Did yeah, you legit lived. think you were going to die, Jackson? Um, the thought crossed my mind. It was like, okay, this is a bad situation. I got to trust that Zaba wins, but uh, that's fair. That's fair. But you Suffoca- didn't need Zaba. You got sucks. yourself up. Yeah. Can be more self reliant. Uh, They've loosened up a little bit on how you can get yourself out in 2e compared to Pathfinder 1st Edition. And sometimes I need to remember that. Because, like, in 1st Edition, you could only attack with, like, a light one-handed weapon, like a rapier or a dagger, um, while being constricted under the swallow hole condition. I thought so, there were still restrictions about what weapons you I think so. Use. Yeah. Uh, well... But Whoops. I didn't know about ah. the you can escape um, using escape. I thought you had to yeah. rupture, so that's pretty The fancy. more we know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We get to go and get our stupid stone and get out of here. Yeah, I, I want a shiny rock. Though I'm very, very curious on just how close we are to the end. Because that this is the final piece, right? This is the final piece of the jewel, yes. Oh boy. And then we can unleash the behemoth. <laughs> no! Release the beast! That's yeah. the ultimate goal. But you're not cursed anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> it would be so fun. <laughs> we could see mountains get destroyed. Mountains, Gandalf. <laughs> mountains, Gandalf! I was trying to look up that weapons. It's too hard. Yeah, it's because you're considered grabbed while you're inside. Mm. And while mm. you while you're grabbed, you can only use the grab condition. If you have to um, attempt to if you attempt to manipulate trait or I'll grab, you gotta make the DC5 flat check. So that's mm. what that is. So Alright. Yep, this is the last piece. And yeah, so we're gonna pick pick up right up right where we left off because last time you just you freed Davy, you made it into this the energy vault where you encountered a bunch of temporal manifestations and they were quite a bit tough, but you you, you held your own. Zaba got a bit bloodied and um, Vesuviac got a bit bloodied and Timothy got a bit swallowed. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Timothy got swallowed by a uh, hot... Yeah. <laughs> Not consensually. Sadly. Last, last episode was the Vore episode. God damn it. I had a piss episode on Digiverse. Now I had a goddamn Vore episode a year. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing a scat episode. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Yuck. You, you're the one who said... You, you're... If this was a Pathfinder... Uh, you said escape like, shit. A... If this was a Paizo uh, AP, I would not be surprised if there was a fight inside a shit-filled room with uh, onk eggs. Are, yeah. Are they the ones that... They pop in up in so many Yeah, APs. The, the, the shit monsters. Yeah. Yep. So shit fight's totally possible. I hate it. I hate it here. I'm not going to confirm or deny that there might be a shit fight in um, the dwarf AP. I'm... Uh, Oh, it explore, happens in the honestly. Underdark, or the not Underdark, the um, Darklands. I can't use Underdark, it's copyright. <laughs> so. The deep dark. Fucking f- goddamn Hasbro Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, sorcerer, sure. Yeah. All right, 
So, um, all right. So we you find yourself in things. this room. All right. Any pottery that's in here, Zaba swiftly would like to just throw at this magical barrier that apparently doesn't do shit. He's channeling, he's um, channeling his inner link. No, I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and just throw it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't expect much. So, what Should you doing? Down. So I think we just need medical attention. Grievous Desperately voice. need hit points. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just uh, yeah, Zaba's still hurting. I'm gonna do another two lay on hands on him just to burn through the rest of my focus points and then start healing myself up. Also, I saw, I saw that token pop up really quick and I got very scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Does Zaba need to make a roll again to see if he allows it? Uh, no, I figure he's probably slipping out of rage at this point, so you probably get a couple of rounds that you can get away with bullshit. Because he's fatigued. I mean, you've not stopped me with lay on hands before. Timothy, do you want me to look at your wounds, or did you want to wait for Zuf- uh, Vesuviac's attention? Uh, when you say that, he, like, stops for a second, looks over to you, and gives a look of, like, worry about it? Sorry, we can just God. leave. Yeah, I'll- we can just leave this room. I'll leave this room. I mean, you should definitely get healed first. Oh, shit, yeah, I guess. Uh, fuck. Here, Vesuviac, do you want to come help treat wounds? It looks like you need some healing as well. Yeah, I got it. You know we spend all this time treating wounds. <laughs> we never spend extended periods of time creating wounds. I mean, just saying, we're good at doing it in short bursts, but you know, maybe we try and do it for 10 minutes sometimes, see how long it feels in real life. It's a lot harder to treat wounds than to make wounds. Not for 10 minutes. Uh, depends on what method I guess you're using. While we're here, Vesuviak, are you all squared away with Saren right now? Like, you did what she wanted, and now you can stop being her errand boy? I don't know. Everything about this came to me in a dream, so I assume I will receive my answer at the end of a dream. Uh, maybe. Well, I, I just don't have enough information to go off of. Uh-huh. I hope that it's the end, but I'm not holding my breath. I mean, you did her a favor. She, hopefully, things will be better for you. Hey, maybe you never know. Maybe she'll let you be a big boy again. Is she the one that made you little? Why did yeah. she do that? It's a really, really long story, but basically, the reason I did it is that. Or the reason that she acted was because uh, I happened to go on a rampage and tried to burn down a city that was devoted to her. But it's it's not that simple. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of perfectly reasonable explanations for burning an entire city. We've all been there. Not it's sure true, I've makes... burnt, like, a number of cities. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> no, I think I'm... he's not. It's, it's true, serious. you know what? Sometimes you just gotta burn a city and move on with life. It, yeah. It, oh, it man. was... I kind of miss it. Hmm. Yeah. We can do I never rampage really later, wanted so. to burn the city down in the first place, to be fair. I was, uh, instructed to, against my will. Sounds <clears throat> like an unfortunately common theme for you, having people tell you what to do. Yes, uh, very yeah. infuriatingly open. Or, uh, very infuri- infuriating words. Very infuriatingly common problem that I have. 
Have you ever considered, you know, cutting free from the shackles and fleeing the plane of your original origin to somewhere foreign and distant outside of the power structure that long kept your hungers and uh, needs bound and tethered behind guidelines and rules? Really specific. So. That, that's super specific. Did you do that? I've not tried to leave this plane of existence, if that's what you're asking. I, uh, I recommend it. Sometimes it works out pretty good. Uh. You know, look at me. You don't just walk out of where I came from because you want to. That's fair. Fair, but the uh, situation was a little bit different. Was the Basic. 17 for Timothy, by the way? Yes, that was. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. All right, so we are still on timeline. Should we go kill whatever else is moving inside this basement and get out of here now yeah. that we free the the boat guy? We can help Vesuviac kill his masters later. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a probably next logical step in Saren Ray quest. Mm-hmm. It all depends on if Saren Ray rewards me, I guess. I mean, she better. Be kind of a shit god, right? Ask her to make you big again. All right, so we've got two doors left in this hallway. Let me go check them. You did this have time. three doors, but um, there were three doors down, but you already took care of one. I love that. Right. End. Yeah. So in this little alcove, there's one to the north and one yeah. to the south, right? Which one's going to be your kryptonite? <laughs> Which one's got a trap? <laughs> I'm going to go check the one to the south. Cool. And if it's got a trap, I will open the one in the north. And if I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? It's trapped! Uh, this one's no good, Saba. Do you want me to look at that one? In the north, they can trap all the doors, you think? I mean, probably. Yeah, it's actually pretty likely. Yeah, I guess you can check it. But it's literally that. a vault. <laughs> and Saba hasn't been thinking about that. He expects Vault to have, like, armed guards and bullshit like that. This is just a room with some sand and water in it. It's trapped! <laughs> well, let me... Since yeah, I'm by here. the way, the um, the water is, like, ankle deep. Oh, that's mm. right. I forgot about the water. Um, here is a thievery check, I believe, right? To disable traps? Sure. I have it right here. Sorry, I roll. But I can click if you'd rather... No, you got it. It right. has been disabled. You have safely erased the rune, which was invisible, but you were able to see it. Perfect. And the right. trap is no, it is no longer trapped. This one's good. I'm going to take cover so that I can roll It stealth. is not locked. Oh. <clears throat> that was the trap. It was locked. All right. Well, in that it case, Sabo will will just just boot the door open again, he, full force. He knows this place is being torn down, so he's not being gentle. All right. In this room, there are four square pillars holding up the ceiling. An alcove at the east contains a pillar with a glowing yellow-orange gemstone across it. Small yellow orange flecks surround the pillar like a cloud of glitter the flecks that touch the pedestal vanish into it but the cloud gets no smaller it's weird that wasn't the only thing you saw in the room the um, the elephant in the room so to speak is this oh i found something <laughs> What the oh, fuck? That's a dragon. That's a bone dragon. We're not going to dog, right? No. no. This is your kind of room, Saba. There you go. You can go ahead and uh, describe that to our oh. listeners. Uh, it's a wyvern. It's not a dragon. It's, it's, a, it's a bone wyvern. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. It is a wyvern. Bone wyvern. Can you pop that, that, that photo back up for me? Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to describe in other other fashion than it is a wyvern made of bones. Right down to its neck seems to be composed of individual bones that have been kind of la 
lock together into a lattice work. Its whole thing is, it's not like a normal skeleton, it's more like a craft work, or if you were to take the frame of something and then glue extra over top of it for structural reinforcement. Unfortunately, the, the glue that they've used is uh, kind of green and caustic looking, almost like the algae that you get in a kitty swim, uh, one of those plastic kids swimming pools when you leave it outside for too long without cycling the water. Yeah, and it's big. It's bigger than Zava. The, the one addition I want to add to the art that you see right there is that inside the chest of this bone creature is skeletal cultist. There is clearly a rapier wound over where the heart is, where the heart is actually still visible, almost as if like it's staying animated somehow. Some like ne necromantic energy is keeping it alive. It's uh, so this bone dragon wyvern creature almost seems like it's an exosuit, like an exosuit for with the cultist that is inside of it. And as you open the door, this raspy voice I shouldn't say voice, these, these raspy voices. Almost as if the bones, each individual bone that is fabricating this exo, this exo suit that's made to look like a dragon wyvern creature, all rasp out and say, Poppy, die. And that's where we're going to start combat, folks. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Uh -oh. I'm in danger. This is fine. Every time we've ever fought a wyvern or drake or anything like that, it's gone perfectly fine for us and no characters have died. I hate this. Highly Listen, accurate. you have a you have a dragon on the party, so like bonus points. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I, small shrunken magma dragon, big giant oh, bone wyvern. Goodness. Basically the same. Exactly. I'm sitting over here doing the math matter. if I was gonna have to uh, use my hero point to roll better. But we rolled good. It's a good initiative. It's what we needed. All right. So let us begin. And Zaba, you are the first one to react when the cult dragon yells out, Poppy, die. And so you go ahead. Cool. I am going to use sudden charge to use two stride actions. To actually, I did the math. I can get up and around him to his backside and make a strike. So I'm just gonna get directly into the room and essentially Zaba's idea is dragons have breath weapons so you turn them away from the doors if you can. And he wants to be the center of attention. Ah, uh, that's not a good sign guys. 28 does not strike. It does not. All right, well, that's two, uh, two for the charge and strike. And then, yeah, Zaba would try again before he starts getting creative. Yeah, it's a miss. That's what I expected, but it makes sense to him. All right, folks. Next up on the docket, we got Vesuviak. Okay, Vesuviak is going to fucking panic. This looks very undead, doesn't it? Oh, yes, for sure. Okay. Uh, well, there's no downside to doing this at this area. Yeah. I'm gonna do two actions to cast a heal spell on it. See what kind of damage that does. And this will be a heal spell from the staff, not one of my fourth level ones. Okay. Let me actually open up the sheet because I can control that better that way. Let's do that. Heal versus undead. And that will be a fortitude save. That's a four on the die, which is a failure, so they'll take let's, full damage. Let's go! It's not a whole lot, but this will give me a good idea. Great. And it takes that damage. For my last action, I'm going to move into this corner. The corner next to the door that is out of sight of the dragon, so that way any breath weapon doesn't hit me. That's fair. Great. We go to... It has Zaba. Right there. So it will go ahead and do that. What you gonna do? 
I say, trying to sound confident. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and attempt to reach down and bite you with its jaws. And that's a hit. Four. And it's going to attempt to grab you. Let's see here. It's got you restrained. And what can it, what's this one going to do? And final action. Well, yeah, it's going to go ahead and try to just grind you in its jaws, bud. So I need you, well, this is actually your good, your good save. So make a fortitude save. I, have, I hate that my save for the athletics is a fortitude, not against my athletics DC. It would make a difference. It makes such a difference. Luckily, I'm super fortitude at this. Yeah, you, this thing cannot grind you. That's a critical success. It cannot grind you. You're just too hardy. I'm big boy. Too froggy. All right, so. Okay. I will drop into my stance and move forward. I can just get to a diagonal, which is not. Well, fine. You have to right there. Yeah, I can get there. Okay, thanks. There we go. Got the nice flank with Saba because he was so brave and ran in. And then I will. Uh, I will do a skirmish strike as my last one. Oops, sorry. It was still secret from the trapping. Well, a four on the die is not going to do it. Nope. Stepping back one with the skirmish. All right. Timothy. Hey, what's up? It's your boy. So I think Timothy is going to move at least a little bit more in just so we can see at least like more towards the door to see what exactly is going on. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what? He's actually going to move a little further into the room to be uh, be behind. No, actually. I was going to say he's going to be behind a, per a pier, uh, pillar, but that's going to mess with what he wants to do. Because what he wants to do is because he's close enough to this thing. He wants to see uh, about using <sighs> If I didn't move, I'd get to do a three action move, but I need to at least see it a little better. Okay. I am going to cast painful vibrations on this thing. Okay. Is it. Wait, well, actually, would it work? Because it's living. Li not lip. It's right. No, it's not living. It lacks it's the internal organs to vibrate against its bones. But it's bones. It's all bones. It's already no. clacking its own bones. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be used. Call it the bone blender. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta what? target one living creature. Yeah, okay, then never mind. Apologies. I thought. I read, I was like, oh, I can do that. No, I can't. No, I can't. Sorry. Then in that case... Fuck. I, I was gonna do the other thing. So I have a scroll of searing light that I've been holding on to this entire time. Yeah. Can I use that now? Absolutely. Cool. I'm using it. There you go. And you wouldn't even need to move. You could do it from where you are to pull out the scroll and then cast oh, yeah. it. Yeah. You're right then. But let me move myself back to where I was at. Yeah. Pull out the scroll and cast it. I have pulled out the scroll and I pressed cast, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just, yeah. Now you got to hit the attack button. Yes. Please, God. That's a hit. Yes. I roll that damage. And then, if by any chance it has a... It's technically undead, right? Yeah. Because I would deal an extra 5d6. Okay. And he said an extra 5d6 spirit damage? Yeah. Yeah. So roll another 5d6. So roll gotcha. damage again. All right, let me roll damage one more time. Or actually just roll. Sorry. No, that's fine. What is it? That's 16. 16? Yes, yeah, so that's 16 spirit damage, I guess. Or yep. Yes. I've used a scroll. You did it. Finally, check Whoa, out scroll. Look at that. Chunky. Yes. It's a little bit of blood on the token. Now we go back up to the feeling it's restrained in his jaws. Yeah, I am. Well, I guess I need to get out of being restrained. Mm-hmm. 
So I will uh, tap and escape. Yep. Unfortunately, my HUD has done that thingy again. One moment. I'll make it come back. It just won't give it to me right now. If you, I think if you have your character sheet open, the HUD doesn't work. Did you open your character sheet? Ah, yeah, I always have it open. Cool. I will make this an escape check. Really bad. Sorry, bud. That is, yeah, that's a crit fail, so turns over. You cool. don't get freed. You can't attempt escape again until your next turn. I, I don't think that actually happens. Oh, I go think for I'm going to yeah. use my one hero point. It may still be bad, but I gotta try. Uh, 32 instead. Okay. Probably still doesn't do it. This thing's beefy. Missed it by one. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're screwed. We're in trouble. It's not good. Every time this thing hits you, it'll be a crit. Cool. Yeah. I guess I can try again at map. Mm-hmm. That always goes well. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Nope. That won't do it. You could rage. Oh, no. Is that because he's restrained? Uh, anyway. No, ra rage. You could rage. Because the rage doesn't have the manipulate or anything. Yeah. So, not yeah. yet. Alright, Vesuviac. This is your specialty, my dude. This, These are undead. Yeah, but unfortunately, some of the things that I was hoping would be working for this are not working the way that I intended. So, I'm having to kind of fly off the seat of my pants here. Oh, this actually might be good. Okay, I gotta take a five foot step to get back over to be able to see the fight. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to cast Holy Cascade. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put that 20 foot burst right here. It looks like that dodges both Zaba and Sil. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, so I need a reflex save from the dragon, uh, so that way you can take a whole lot of vitality damage. <laughs> All right. As well as bludgeoning damage, but that's neither here nor there. That's a natural 20, my dude. What basic? Quick, use, sure use your hero points to make, him not, make it not be that. <laughs> I wish that's how that worked. <laughs> Real cool spell, though. Yeah. That's so bullshit. So I, I just, wasted a natural 20 on that, though. Yeah, but that was oh, a good thing a to waste. waste a natural 20 yeah. on. <laughs> you prevented taking Bitch. a whole lot of damage. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, sorry. I just poured water onto more water. <laughs> yeah, that would have been 96 uh, damage overall to uh, to our friend here. Is rather unfortunate, but oh well. God. Can't. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. Okay. All right. Well, the dragon's gonna drop Saba. No, no, the dragon's not gonna drop Saba. Dragon is going to. Oh, come on. Chew on Zaba before dropping him. Like a piece of gum. All right. Make that fortitude save. It's fine. It is fine. Okay. Real, no, realizing that he can't actually chew on you. You're, you're, you're way too tw you twuff. You're way too tough. <laughs> He's going to drop you. It's a good idea. I support this. And I think I'm going to like this, though. Yeah, you're not going to like this. Let out a giant cry. Oh, shit. I need He's all of you to him. make that well save. No. Oh, I really want I really want to be feared right now. Come on. <laughs> oh no. I'm re-rolling my oh, nat there are one. Two nat ones on the table. Yeah. Oh, oh three. three crit fails. Wait. Three nat ones. Wait, I was at a three, was I? I'm gonna hero point that I one. Oh, find out two nat two ones and a three. Seven. So I have good. Good a five. <laughs> one from a three to a five. Hey, this it got you crit. out of crit range to regular to failures. I have one hero point. That is I have true. to keep it in this scenario. Yeah. All right. 
Bye. <laughs> All right. So who? So Timothy, you crit failed. Yeah. You are frightened for. Oh, oh my god. You make the stinkies in your pants. And <laughs> not only do you make the stinkies in your pants, you are fleeing <gasps> until you are no longer frightened. No. For the next four rounds, or no, hold on. You are fleeing for one round or until you're no longer frightened, whichever comes first. So your next turn, you gotta run away as far away Shame. from this dragon in three Bye. actions as you possibly can. Bye, Timothy. I'm so sorry. The hey, rest of you are one of frightened us will too. Okay. Um, That's still pretty bad. Ugh. Well, hold on. Don't you have something to get rid of frightened? Doesn't uh, Paragon get rid of frightened? Nope. Only if I'm legendary in medicine, which I am oh, not. Oh, gotcha. You're, you're not yet. Okay. Yeah. Sil, it is your turn. Yeah. Um... I'm going to move around the column that I'm next to so I can be next to the wall instead in case, I mean that seemed like a the substitution for a breath weapon, but yep, and striking is there anything Hey, that's one. a hit! Nice! I can do it. I'm sure slashing is good against bones. 18 damage. And Takes then I some go, of it. Some of it, yeah. I should get a bludgeoning weapon. And then I will uh, skirmish strike twenty six. Oh, miss by frightened. miss by one because of the frightened. Mm -hmm. Stepping back with the skirmish, okay. and you can. I removed one of your frightens. Awesome, thank you. All oh, right, yeah. Timothy. Hey. We're gonna see ya. We'll see you later. Yeah, Timothy's gonna bowl, and it's like. I think his body genuinely is just acting on his own. I honestly think it's some of the spirits being like, nope, 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 we're done. Nope, goodbye. We're done. And Timothy's like, wait, fuck, wait, wait, wait. Fuck this dragon. <laughs> Hags are one thing. Dragons? Fuck, though. <laughs> do I, would I go up the stairs? Probably. Fuck. So that's one. So it gets one action gets you there. Yeah. And then you got two actions up the stairs, and we'll just uh, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. And then your okay. frightened goes down by one. And I'm no longer fleeing. And you're no longer fleeing. So next turn you'll be, you'll take two actions to get where you are, yeah. and one more action to get where you were. Great. <laughs> great, fucking great. Timothy yells down the staircase. I'm sorry, I was I was compelled to run. All right, Zaba. All right, is right. Okay, so this thing is big. It is meaty. It tried to chew on me. It just roared at us. Timothy's abandoning us. I'm no. <laughs> so for some mad. reason, at this moment, my mind drifts to the unusual liquid in my consumables, but I know <laughs> that this is not the time to find out what that is. Um, <laughs> instead, it's. It's that day, I guess. It's a big, big scary dragon that yelled at me, so I will yell right back and <laughs> nice. go into another, a rage. Another rage, back to back rages. Yeah, up is tired of this temple. He was told that when we're done here, we can leave. Uh, so that's my first action, and then uh, yeah, my second action. I am gonna strike it viciously with the flank. The negative two, thanks to frightened, is unfortunate. Nine on the die for a 23 is not going to do it. Nope. All right. Uh, final action. Also realizing his sword is just kind of glancing off the bones. He will free action, drop his sword, and draw his hammer. Oh, you can sheath and draw. Remember the swap? Yeah, I like it being on the ground. Yeah, it makes sense. The rage stuff, yeah. He's not going to take the time to put something into his back pouch in mid-combat. Right. That's how you cut yourself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, Vesuviac. Bit of a pickle, huh? Okay. I need to check ranges on Fireball. <laughs> Let's see. Is a 20-foot burst, which was the same one as the last one. We're going to do that. 
Uh, I cast Fireball. <laughs> okay. It just seems appropriate for the moment. Fireball! 18 oh on the God. die. Okay, Crit success. Well, Suviac's gonna use the third action to go fuck himself, I guess. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna use the third action to uh, take a step back into the little corner so I'm out of attack range. All right. All right, the dragon. Not liking two AoE spells that just took off. Poppy. Yeah. Strutting towards. Zaba, do you want to use either of those reactions? What was that, Corey? Yeah, he will. Uh, where's this dragon going? Right over towards the doorway there? Moving. Yeah, it's moving through. It's going to end its turn right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I will use no escape to you keep, keep pace, pace with it. So, so stride yeah. up to your speed, following the foe, keeping in reach throughout the movement until it stops moving or until you've moved your full speed complement. Yeah, so that is what I will do. I imagine it's probably the most lateral line I can't pick that I want to be in a fun flanking position. It says move, so move, it says move your up to your speed, following it, keeping uh, it within cool. range. As long as you're within like, range. Cool. I would like to end up here. Okay. I can't move myself out of turn. Oh, right. Gotcha. Like that? I, I believe so. All right. Well, it used what's called Sweeping Slash. So I will throw that in there. It, it strides and makes two wing attacks, each at any point during its stride. The multiple attack penalty does not increase until after both of these attacks have been made. So during its stride, it, it struck at Zill. Oh. For a crit, dealing 32. And I am going to give uh, Vesuviac some cover behind that little wall. Where do they put the cover these days? I do not know. There it is. It's a helmet now. And it'll make a s strike at Vesuviac. Nope, nope. Ignore that cell. So that was 33 Vesuviac with your cover. Wait, That'll still down. be a hit. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.